All right, Chris, it's the sixth time this season that the Marlies have gone into overtime with Belleville. What is it about this team that makes it hard to play them in the regulation? Well, I mean, they're a heck of a hockey team. They got a lot of skill. Um, they clog up a lot of things, don't give up much, and, and we're a pretty good team ourselves. So it's just a good battle with two teams that are so familiar with the with each other. It's hard to find offense. So a lot of times it's going to come down on the wire. And, you know, unfortunately, we came on the wrong side of the, of the play on a, overtime. And now with just one more game of the regular season coming up, where is this team's confidence, uh, you know, as the playoffs approach? Yeah, I mean, very high. I thought, you know, we've had confidence for a while now, confidence that, you know, when we needed to solidify our playoff spot, we did that. Went in the Belleville, played a really good hockey team and a desperate team, and we took care of business in, in, their, in their arena, so that was good. I think we're a confident group, just knowing the pieces that we need to put into place. I think we've done that, and we just need to get on a roll. And uh, whoever we play, whether it be Rochester or Syracuse, uh, you know, we've said confidence is a big word, and we have that. Everybody's just got to do their job, and we're excited to get this season, you know, finally finish tomorrow on a good note. And then, you know, playoff time is the best time of hockey. So, now earlier this week, you were named to uh, the AHL second team All Star. What does that mean to you? Well, it's 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 obviously an honor uh, to be voted by you know the guys you play against and and play with and the coaches and media but you know that's a team award I've said that yesterday and, and you're not going to be anywhere without your teammates without your coaching staff so you know me and Brax get recognized but a lot of that has to do with the team if it wasn't for them you know we wouldn't be getting any any uh, accolades or any point production so it's hats off to Sheldon for you know putting the power play together for me to have success down low you know I got to give credit to Brax because he's having a heck of a year and you know he deserves his first team honor and like I said, though, a lot of those awards are team awards, and we're just happy that you know we can contribute. Sorry, Chris, uh, we just got here, but do you mind touching on just how you think your team responded to what was kind of like a playoff dress rehearsal kind of game against a hungry Belleville team? Yeah, well, I mean, it's nice that we play a desperate team that needs needs to win because you, you want to go in the playoffs ready to go. And I thought, you know, uh, although offense and, and getting the pucks to the net was a challenge for us, so we need to do a better job of that going into next week, I think. Playing a desperate team, getting our assignments, our matchups, you know, breaking out in critical times in the third period. Those were big. Those are going to be big things in playoff time. And that's just a dress rehearsal. And I thought we did a pretty good job. Obviously, you don't want to lose or you don't want to lose on in overtime. But come playoff time, it's a different style of hockey. And I think playing two, a desperate team back-to-back, -back, you know, maybe Cleveland, that's going to do us wonders. And I think we have a lot of confidence going in. It was really up really authentic you know playoff matchup with the emotion and stuff like that and the grittiness how do you like the way that your team kept their emotions in check it was good I mean obviously a power plays are going to be a premium the refs aren't going to be looking to, to be a factor so we got to generate offensive chances five on five when we get our power plays we need to capitalize and it's, you're going to take a beating whether it be in front of the net whether it be in your end and you got to uh, keep your cool you see it in the NHL the hits go way up you know the dirtiness goes way up but you're allowed to play and that's the best part about playoff hockey and I think guys are excited around um, playing tomorrow just to close out the season what are you guys looking for for yourself and for the team coming out in the first five minutes just you know just sticking with the game plan and and realizing how you gotta you know almost address rehearsal how you gotta play in the playoffs you know not not cheating not going you know just to try to pick up points in a meaningless game because it's not a meaningless game we it's a dress rehearsal to get ourselves ready for playoff hockey i thought we did that these two games and we're going to continue it tomorrow and we should be ready to go with a week of practice whoever we play rochester syracuse Put together a really nice road record this this year. Uh, does that offer any more confidence going into now starting the playoffs on the road opposed to last year? Of course, especially since I don't think we're going to have a nice advantage. So we know last year we knew we could win on the road. This year we could win on the road. That's no big deal for us. Um, whoever coach puts on the ice, we know we're going to have to respond. Obviously, our home record wanted to be a little better, but I know you know how the fans will be in playoffs. How we'll be a little geared up in playoffs. So I'm just looking forward to playoff hockey, whether it be on the road, at home. It's the best time of the year, and I know the guys are really excited.